In 1976, we produced a film, Lionel the Movie. It was shot on 16 millimeter, gorgeous color film, Aeroflex cameras, it was about 15 minutes long. And we reproduced it in 16 millimeter and Super 8 sound. I think the 16 millimeter sold for $150 and the Super 8 for about 75. So we didn't sell very many and we had to charge that much money because that's, it cost us a lot to reproduce each show. What Lionel the movie showed me was that trains with their action, their sounds, their color, the accessories could be visually exciting. So when video came along in the late 80s, we were ready to start producing videos on toy trains because you could produce on video for a lot less money than you could on film. So in 1987, we published Great Toy Train Layouts of America. It was a hardcover book. It included Frank Sinatra's layout, and the book sold very well. We were reviewed in People Magazine, and that was the first time we got exposure outside of the hobby, and orders just poured in. We had to go from two lines to four lines to accommodate all the orders that were coming in. So I realized then that there was a market for toy trains beyond the train hobby. So the next year, we produced part one of Great Toy Train Layouts of America. We featured Ward Kimball. Ward Kimball, by the way, was a, a great guy to work with. Uh, had a fantastic layout and collection. Very knowledgeable and very funny. And we had a great time with him. We did Chuck Brasher in part two. Chuck had an amazing collection of original standard gauge with many extremely rare items, all in excellent or better condition, and a fabulous layout. And part two, by the way, was chosen by People Magazine as one of the 10 best videos of the year. So once again, with the exposure in People, orders poured in.